Hello, Singles Collective, and welcome back, Single Taurus. Today, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on your love life, your past, recent past, present energy, and what energy is coming in for you in matters of the heart or in your love life. If you guys are interested in a private reading, just look down below in the description box. My official website is there. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Taurus, we're going to start with your past or recent past. Single Taurus's past or recent past and matters of the heart, love life, past or recent past. I'm hearing transformation here, uh, but let's see what comes in for you here. You have the one who surrenders. There may have been here something that you were in either emotionally or mentally tied to in your past or recent past. Now, it says here, chains, bondage, release. There may have, you know, and what's interesting is that this person, this person is holding a letter to their heart. And what I'm feeling here that some of you may have felt that there were things left unsaid here in your past or recent past that may still kind of in a way resurface from from time to time i feel here that in your past or recent past either a for some of you things were left unsaid there wasn't a proper closure here with matters of the heart a connection a circumstance or a situation i'm also feeling here the one who surrenders you had to learn to let go of this either mental emotional or energetic bondage or connection or attachment now what i mean by attachment it could be energetic attachment but there's bond this clinging to the situation here that um was bringing a lot of pain you felt chained to this situation you felt as if you couldn't get out and some of you learned that by getting out was just letting go Okay, you either broke up, divorced, or separated from this either individual, circumstance, or connection here in the past or recent past. I feel here that, that it was emotionally challenging. There's a lot of rocks here in this um, picture. So there were a lot of obstacles and challenges that you felt that you endured here in this either past connection situation or circumstance. <clears throat> I feel this, there's this great of this, there's a sadness here with this person in this picture, but there's also the sense of like, there's nothing else I could have done other than broken up left or divorced kind of like that just accepting the situation end in the past or recent past okay you have here will of fortune yep and the death card the end i told you yep five of cups feeling of loss yep so here this is what i'm getting here the death card there was an ending here some of you, there was a separation, a breakup, a divorce, okay, with someone that you felt connected to, a person, a situation. There was a need to let this go. There was some type of, or some level of toxicity, or some level of this either person or situation not being um, favorable for you, okay? Now, this is an oil spill here in this picture, an oil spill and everything being affected by it. And I feel here that this connection was exactly that. It kind of seeped into many areas of your life here. And I just saw the number 444 angel number here for some of you. Um, there's this level of just, it just spread into many areas of your life. 
which is the reason why here in your past or recent past it was a sense of having to release yourself from that bondage from that chain okay because this is a chain here uh, releasing yourself from that chain now what's great about this situation here in the past and the recent past is the moment that you were able to go with the flow and accept this separation breakup or divorce there was a sense of things spinning in a new direction the wheel of fortune the opportunity of fate the universe okay the ethereal whichever your spiritual or religious beliefs may be spinning in a direction that was going to benefit you okay here in the past or recent past now the wheel of fortune is ruled by jupiter and jupiter is like good luck okay so there's this sense of there was a blessing in disguise here in this past or recent past here for you okay taurus a blessing in disguise all right you have here in the present energy the one who regrets but it's interesting because here I'm not getting a person who regrets. I'm here getting a person who regrets nothing. You don't regret the decisions that you had to make, okay? I'm feeling here that some of you may have said or may think right now at this moment in time, this is your current energy, you may think, well, I wasted time in this situation where I wasted time and energy and I invested so much in this past connection or in this past relationship. So there may be a little bit of that feeling there. But what I'm getting here with you is that there's a sense of you being more grounded now because of this experience that you were, you endured here in the past or recent past. There's the sense of letting go of the bitterness, letting go of the um, anger associated to something that may not have felt that, that was fair for you. Okay, Taurus, here in this uh, section right here in the past or recent past. I feel that there is a sense right now at this moment in time of you kind of looking uh, in, the, uh, you know, at the horizon, looking at what's in store for me in love. What have I learned from the past? What do I need to do in order to ground myself? I'm, you know, I feel some of you here are doing a lot of things to ground your energy in order for you to kind of, in a way, kind of um, what I'm seeing here is a, a, a tree trunk clairvoyantly a tree trunk and really sinking the roots of the tree trunk into the earth kind of really anchoring yourself um anchoring ac anchoring yourself emotionally anchoring yourself mentally and really preparing yourself for what's ahead or what's in store for you in matters of the heart now let's take a look here at what other energy is coming in for taurus right now in matters of the heart single taurus single Taurus matters of the heart present energy yeah releasing ten of ten of swords you are currently releasing those things that no longer serve serve you now some of you were deceived in the past or recent past why do I say that there's a lot of backstabbing here okay so either some of you may think or thought that you were uh, being backstabbed or there were instances here in the past or the recent past that perhaps that was the toxic situation here or the to 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 toxic energy here that was seeping in, okay? There was a sense of lack of transparency for some of you. Ten of Swords is the completion of a cycle. So yes, that is the reason why this person is really looking at the horizon what's in store for me next and when i place this card down this person is looking towards my right hand my right hand side this is all about the future so there's a sense of de de determination here there's a sense of i've released or i'm currently releasing or i am uh, or i have released already the sense of failure the sense of sadness the, the sense of loss there's a change there's a release there's a sense of transition here in the way you're thinking about love and in the way that you are focusing on your next steps in matters of the heart. Now, let's take a look here at what is coming in for single Taurus. What's coming in for single Taurus here in the near future? What energy is coming in for Taurus here in the near future? I'm hearing here saying goodbye to the past. 
when I'm looking here at this Ten of Swords. So Clara audiently um, and Clara sentience, the feeling that I'm getting here, it's like kind of like that last goodbye. You know, giving the past that last goodbye is where you where your energy is right now here uh, for most of you uh, Tauruses in regards to love. You're saying goodbye to the past. You're releasing all the you know, all of the mental hangups that you may have had or the memories, um, the feeling of sorrow, the feeling of being backstabbed, deception, lack of transit. You're leaving all that behind. Let's take a look at what's coming in here. What's coming in in the near future here for you? The one who instigates. Now, don't worry about the, the word instigates because every time I say that, I feel that there's this kind of like negative connotation that people may kind of get from that but in reality this is all about the fire energy there's a sense of fire passion feeling sexier more handsome more attractive shedding the old skin you know kind of uh, bringing to the surface this new way of looking of feeling of being okay for some of you you might get a new haircut change your hair color um for others of you you know grow a beard or shave your beard or get a goatee but there's a sense of kind of doing things on the outside so that it can connect to how you're feeling that sensuality and that sexiness that you're feeling on the inside here in this upcoming energy i feel here the shedding of the old for something new to come in for you to kind of like shine brightly now it's not all about the exterior okay it's about the interior so starting with with something inside and radiating outward and that's how this is coming across it there's this sense of you know ambition motivation passion um kind of like this the birth of this new you is what i'm getting here with this card especially here with this snake because snake is all about shedding in order for the snake to grow it has to shed its skin in order to find its way into this growth process right so for you here Taurus this is telling me that this upcoming energy here in matters of the heart is that there's going to be the sense of extra sensuality extra sexiness attractiveness handsome you know and kind of really coming into that alignment with that inner passion and inner fire in order for you to step forward and be more proactive here with matters of the heart and um kind of going out there putting yourself out there to date to meet someone to you know to bring that energy out i feel very proactive energy here okay with this card kind of like that go-getter energy all right let's take a look here and look what i just said go-getter energy guess what this clara sentience and in, 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 in just feeling wise comes across to me as fire and the wands energy is that it's fire and the nine of wands is all about falling okay falling nine times but get having the energy the perseverance the determination to still get back up on that 10th count and what i'm getting here is there's a sense of perseverance here okay um in matters of the heart it's like you're not allowing anything from your past or recent past to um to no it you're not going to allow it to no longer hold you back okay now you have here the three of cups so there may be this energy of you meeting someone through other people okay three of cups could also be here a friendship there may be a friendship that you will connect with or build here in the near future because three of cups is all about celebration it's also about friendship it's also about partnering up okay so celebration partnering partnering up collaboration with others and it's kind of in a way um igniting this emotional happiness inside so there may be this sense of getting more invitations to go out to places and to celebrate in the near future and that being uh, the gateway or the opportunity for you to start increasing your social network okay now last but not least let's take a look at this wow interesting guess what came out and popped out of the deck it says here sacred space create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine i feel that this 
proactive energy, which is very yang energy. And this energy here, sacred space, is very yin energy. And I feel there's a sense of you balancing both here in this upcoming uh, future here for yourself in order to find out where it is that you need to go, okay? Where it is that you need to go, which invitations should you take, which connections and friendship you should make. You have here the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of wish fulfillment, romantic thinking here. Um, so really beautiful energies here for you, single Taurus. I hope these messages have been insightful. Please click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here or up here for more messages and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.